Is it Ralph, 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 Ralph Barker or what, what, what was his name? Uh, Bob. Bob. No, 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 Ralph, Ralph, Ralph Edwards. Ralph Edwards. Some of us are dated. I want to, uh, to, 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 to make a little announcement tonight. You know, seeds were planted for a community theater. For a community theater uh, in Cushing back in 1984 when uh, a children's Christmas play was uh, was presented at the public library uh, sponsored by the uh, Lockemeyer Arts Center. And then in 1991, following a huge production depicting Cushing's 100-year uh, history with a cast of over 200 people staged at the baseball field, Carol Cubbage and Barbara Lear decided that Cushing needed a creative outlet of a community theater. And in that same year, with the help of other community leaders, they formed Cimarron Players, Inc., also known as Cushing Community Theater. Cushing Community Theater's very first official performance was in April 1992 with the musical production of If the Shoe Fits. I think Brett might have even been in there. He was. He was a cheerleader. Pro productions between 1992 and 1998 were held at the Cushing Library, at church, at an elementary school, and even in the old Escott's downtown grocery store building. And in 1993, through pledges and donations and fundraisers, we, will able, we were able to purchase this building, which was the old Otasco store, and we began a renovation project that, as most of you can see, continues today. The first production held in this building was uh, uh, way back in uh, April of 1998, and it was Moon Over Buffalo. And now, in 2008, we're still going strong. This production of Exit the Body is Cushing Community Theater's 46th adult production. And that is quite an accomplishment, and in no small part due to the efforts of Carol Cubbage, the co-founder of the theater, and also the director of this production. At the close of uh, this production, Carol has decided to retire from directing. We're going to miss her, but we know that the shows will go on with new directors and new faces. But we also know that theater is in Carol's blood. So she won't be far away. Uh, she may not be directing, but I know that we're still going to see her. Uh, she'll still be working behind the scenes to make our theater the success that it has been and will continue to be. And for that, we want to take time out this evening to recognize Carol Cubbage for the efforts that she has made over the past 17 years to make Cushing Community Theater what it is today. We have this plaque that reads, Cushing Community Theater proudly honors and recognizes Carol Cubbage for her service and vision as a co-founder of Cushing Community Theater through her commitment and perseverance to directing, acting, singing, script writing, stage managing, and administration. Cushing Community Theater has grown to a showplace among community theaters. The board and theater patrons hereby express heartfelt thanks for her efforts in fostering, promoting, encouraging, and increasing the knowledge, appreciation, and practice of the performing arts in Cushing, Oklahoma, and the surrounding area, dated March 7, 2008. I appreciate all of you so much. All the support the community has always given us, and um, it's been a labor of love. <laughs> and I just, I, I love all of our audiences and our, our sponsors and our patrons and our volunteers, and um, I'm not going to be far away, but I do thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all your support. <laughs> We're going, to, we're going to place this plaque in the uh, in, in the lobby for everyone to see during all of these productions. 